the next thing we're going to talk about are your incredible red carpet moments. So okay. I'm going to show you some pictures that we that I found incredible of you that you did on the red carpet. And I'm going to show you here. Um, the very first thing that I loved w was um, this beautiful shot of you here. Do you see that? And oh, you yeah. are at the Icons event in New York with um, Kareen Rockfell's Icon events. Yeah. And that was at the Plaza Hotel. So tell us a little bit about this beautiful outfit that we have here. So I believe that outfit was designed by a brand called Lilu. And I loved mm -hmm. how, I love a suit. So I loved like how sophisticated and sexy but chic it is at the same time. I'm all about like really classic, timeless looks. So I think also my hair was done by Marty Harper, who does my hair all the time, and he's amazing. Okay. And we wanted to just create a really sleek, long, kind of like Naomi-esque vibe with the hair. And then looking at that photo, I think Marielle Here Here did the makeup. Go. Yeah, Marielle right. Ferrer did the makeup. And I mean, she's just amazing at makeup. So we wanted to just do like a nice, simple smoky eye, which I feel like tied everything together really nicely. Definitely Perfect. one of my favorites. That's so beautiful. You know, yeah. the irony is, there's so many references of you with the straight hair. And what we did on the cover was yeah, completely so different. different where, where we went, you know, super curly. Tell us about that experience because you saw was like, oh, this, this was very special for you to do this kind of hair, you know, very curly yeah. and kind of left quite natural. Tell us yeah, about I that. Yeah, I think I've, I think I've only had my hair like in another editorial curly one time. My hair is not naturally right. curly. I have like, you know, over the years of working so much, my hair has kind of gotten straightened a lot and all different things done to it. So I don't actually have those nice, beautiful curls that were made on the cover, but it's nice to like do that because it's something different. And I think it's fun and cool for people to see me with that hairstyle. So I was very excited to do that curly hair. And I think it's one of my favorite hairstyles for sure. I want to like okay. learn how to do it myself. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's incredible. Now, this is something really dramatic. And this was from the Traitor Red Carpet event at the 72nd Annual Cannes Film Festival. Now, look at look how uh, incredible that was. That was one of my there. favorites. I love Do you remember this that hand. one? This so one tell was us about by... This outfit. Yeah, this one was by Zuhair Murad. And oh, I, like, when I saw this dress, my mom's my stylist, so she, like, showed me this dress and I was like, oh my God, it makes me feel like a princess. And I was in Cannes at the film festival. So like, I felt like I wanted to go a little bit more all out than I usually do because it had a lot of fabric going around. And mm -hmm. I think Glenn Coco, who's also one of my favorite hairstylists, did my hair here. And then I did my makeup myself. I love wow. like glamming myself for the carpet. So this I think is one of my top favorite red carpet looks for sure. Oh, really? So what are, yes. what are some of your makeup secrets when you do a red carpet event? I mean, you did your own makeup, so you, you must know some, some tricks yeah. out there, girl. <laughs> I think red carpet, the most important thing is to have beautiful skin. So before, right. or the night before I'm going on the carpet, I make sure to like moisturize and hydrate a lot with water. And then also the day of, I do lots of like sheet masks and just really, really moisturize because if you have beautiful glowing skin, I think that like overpowers the entire look. Fantastic. Gorgeous. Now we're going to go on. We have this um, 26th annual Elton John AIDS Foundation Academy Awards outfit. There. Boom. How about that this? one? <laughs> this one was by Monique Lulier. I remember this. Yeah. And, and I was just Kevin like is... so obsessed with like how form fitting it was. And then also yeah. the beautiful feathers at the bottom. It's so fun and like so classy and beautiful. And my makeup here was by Brian Zargoza. And then my hair was by Marty Harper, who also did my hair in another of one. But this was like, I love it. I think it's just so beautiful and chic. And I think I had like drop earrings that have like a turquoise. Yes. On. I can yeah. see, yeah, if I remember. <laughs> <laughs> that's I incredible. That. I mean, that that's really, really beautiful. You know, when you embrace different designers, um, when you wear their clothes, do you actually how do you how do you feel when you wear something so form fitting? Because that would scare a lot of people, you know, something that really gave 
not an inch either way. I mean, do you yeah. like breathe in throughout the entire? I mean, experience? I definitely couldn't breathe. Breathe. I remember sitting down at dinner and I'm like, oh gosh, my stomach. I can't breathe in this. But it's fashion and it's worth it. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> what we always do for fashion, you really suffer for fashion. Now, this is one of my favorites. This is from Enfar, which was just last year at Cannes. And this is you look divine. You look like, you know, you. sun, just like sunset, sunrise, this beautiful yellow, gorgeous on your skin. Tell us about this look. For so this look, actually, I was like very, very persuaded to wear because I normally don't wear a lot of color um, right. on a carpet because I get a little scared that it's just going to clash wrong with, I don't know. I just get really worried about color. So my mom was like, you have to wear this. This is gorgeous. I remember sending it to my agent. He's like, you have to wear this. Like, it's something like you never do. I'm like, fine, I'll wear it. And I wore it and I think like it was a good one for me. <laughs> I love that look so much <laughs> in the end. Um, it was by Georgia Chakra and um, yeah. I did my makeup again. And then my hair was also by Glenn Coco. Who d I think this was the same day actually as the blue dress. Um, it was oh, like a wow. night event and a daytime event. So we like switched Amazing. up the look. And I, I loved this dress in the end. It I honestly took me so long to like be able to wear it though. <laughs> I was really scared. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any colors you would never wear? I think that I would never wear purple. I don't know oh, why. Wow. Purple to me is just not one of my favorite colors. <laughs> okay, okay. And um, when you do your face for the red carpet, do you just hone in on, okay, you said skin is really important, but would yes. you do normally your eyes or your lips or your cheeks? What, what would be that one focal point in your face? I think the lips, or sorry, not the lips. I think the eyes play such an important part um, when you're on the carpet because I think that shows so much emotion and kind of shows what you're feeling. And if you really like your outfit, you can really like exude that like through your eyes. So I think a good focus on the eyes is really nice. I also always do like a little bit of a lash because I think it's nice to have a little bit right. of like a thicker lash line when you're doing a carpet because there's so many lights and like so many different angles. So I think lashes are like my key to a carpet look, especially on my eyes. Fantastic. And the last, but definitely not the least, is 2018 Victoria's Secret Fashion Show Viewing Party. Oh, fun. I love those parties. Remember they're so, this. They're so fun. <laughs> that dress was by um, RTA. And mm -hmm. it was just like, I think these parties are so fun because this was actually the viewing party where we all get together and sit down and watch the show and um, we usually go out after so I wanted to have like a little fun party dress that I could dance in but also like feel you know like a little New York night out on the town vibes and yeah I love this. Amazing. Now do you have do you have a top favorite is there a favorite thing that you would like to do or that you do when you hit the red carpet is there certain rituals or is there certain kind of um tips that you would share maybe the undergarment or maybe the shoe or the size or the height are there little tricks that you know you employ when you do the red carpet yeah so speaking on shoes i think shoes play a huge part on the red carpet and i always go for a little bit of height when i'm on the carpet i think when you stand right. with the high shoe it makes you pose really nicely your shoulders come back a bit and your body just looks like really sleek and nice. And then another trick that I have is that every time before I step on a red carpet, I always stand in a mirror in the dress that I'm wearing and I figure out which, you know, poses and which directions that the dress, you know, looks the best. So then when I step on the carpet, I'm like, okay, remember it looked the best with your left leg in front and your right arm on your hip. So I kind of go through all those motions with every outfit that I wear and just kind of make sure that I have the pose down perfect. Fantastic. Um, are any of these few looks that we went through, are any of them your absolute favorite that you would wear again and again? You know, oh, a lot I, of people talk about... I think the blue look, one. The blue one? You yeah. would wear... Okay, I'll show. People who haven't been here, I'm going to show this blue one, this this incredible outfit. I loved it. I felt like a princess. I think that was one of my favorites <laughs> from the picture you showed. Now, when you wear something that's so plunging and low, on, on the cleavage, you know, how do you ensure, is it really that wonder tape 
does that have to happen with every outfit that has a plunge? I think so. <laughs> the tape is key. <laughs> you don't want to have any, you know, malfunctions on the carpet. So yeah. lots of tape. I also make sure it's very tight in like the shoulders here. So like I need to pull it up a bit. I make sure everything's perfect. Right, right. So a, a very good tailor is very important. Of, as well yes, as the, the tailor is everything. <laughs> <laughs> Now, are there tricks that your mom taught you? I mean, your mom being a stylist, you know, and I'm sure she's been instrumental in your life, in, in your career as a model as well. Uh, are there any tricks that your mom told you or taught you um, as a stylist in how you approach fashion? Um, I think the best thing that she's taught me is to never wear something that you might look back and regret so that's why i always try to keep a very like timeless and chic um wardrobe with wherever i go because i you know i also feel that way now of, like i never want to look back and be like oh my gosh what was i thinking which is why i was scared for that yellow dress because i'm like it's not very timeless it's kind of more out there and funky <laughs> <laughs> so i think that's the number one thing she instilled in me is to just like always um be chic and timeless <laughs> right right and jewelry what what's your take on jewelry like you wear jewelry for the red carpet you wear it for your everyday life i see you got beautiful hoops up there um just <laughs> like to hear you know your thoughts about jewelry like what sort of jewelry do you think works on you oh my gosh i love jewelry it's i think okay. everyone who follows me on instagram knows that it, it's like one of my favorite things and i'm very into like really dainty little earrings like these ones i have here that are you know, hanging here. Um, I always wear those little dainty ones in my ears and I love rings. I work out in my jewelry. I sleep in my jewelry. I take a shower in my jewelry. It never comes off. So I'm like a huge fan of jewelry. And I think it's really nice to like play around and accessorize with different things. Beautiful. And are they always like, do you use a certain type of color of jewelry? Is it always gold, pink gold, yellow gold, or, or just a mixture? I'm always gold. <laughs> you only always see me wear gold. gold. <laughs> yeah, I'm always gold. <laughs> I think it goes nicely with like my skin tone. Um, yes. I feel like silver sometimes kind of clashes with me. And um, yeah, gold, I, I can do rose gold sometimes, but I think gold is more my style. Like a yellow gold, like a rich yeah. yellow gold. Yeah. Fantastic.